and that off over a mile and two in the Irish Stallion Farms EBF Blue Wind. Three-year-old Philly Stakes, it's a group race, and it's Sister Bridget, the early leader from Tranquil Lady, the hoop colours on the outside of Lily Pond, slotting in behind those three. Toast and Lydia, unbeaten in two, has a couple behind, Eatla, the Lumia, and the Maiden River Rain. Racing to the mile mark, in front is Sister Bridget from Lily Pond, Tranquil Lady and Toast and Lydia, Eatla, the Lumia, has one behind River Rain, as they turn at the seven furlong point. No changes in the order of running. It's Sister Bridget and Gary Halpin, a length in front of Lily Pond and Colin Keane, three parts of a length back to in third place. Tranquil Lady and Dylan Brown McMonigal, one of Joseph O'Brien's three in the race. And then her stable companion, Tosin Lydia, Shane Cross, Eatland and Lumia, Chris Hayes. And the back marker remains River Rain and Mikey Sheehy, heading for the halfway stage very shortly. Sister Bridget from a closing Lily Pond, a length and a half to Tranquil Lady, two in front of Toast and Lydia, and then Eatland de Lumia and River Rain, passing the halfway stage in the Irish GBF Blue Wind Stakes. Sister Bridget with a slender advantage over Lily Pond, followed by Tranquil Lady, Toast and Lydia, the green and blue jacket next, and then Eatland de Lumia and River Rain, turning into the straight with three and a half furlongs to go. Sister Bridget nudged along in front, poised as Lily Pond, the navy colours. In third place, couple of lengths back, Tranquil Lady, and then Toast and Lydia. Pushed along on the inside, Eclat de Lumiere and River Rain remains last of the six as they gravitate across to the near side. And it's Lily Pond tackled by Tranquil Lady. Following away is Sister Bridget, then Toast and Lydia, who's now been asked to try and stay on ahead of Eclat de Lumiere and then River Rain as Tranquil Lady goes to the front from Lily Pond and Toast and Lydia. Bit of a break then to Eatla de Lumiere, but it's Tranquil Lady and Dylan Brown McMonigan slipping away from Lily Pond and Tosa and Lydia, and these three are well clear of Eatla de Lumiere, and it's Tranquil Lady putting up quite a performance in the Blue Wind Stakes for Dylan Brown McMonigan, Joseph O'Brien, Lily Pond second, Tosa and Lydia third. Joseph O'Brien joins us now after Tranquil Lady. Joseph, I thought was a really impressive winner of our feature race, the Blue Wind Stakes. Just give us your verdict on her performance, if you don't mind. Yeah, very pleased, um, Gary, obviously. Uh, we were a little bit disappointed with her in Navin. Um, we thought she'd done a big race, and she didn't run badly, but we were hoping for a little bit more. And um, uh, she was impressive today, and that's the filly that we kind of thought we might see the last day. Three runners in the race. One or two eyebrows, I'm sure, were raised when Shane Cross stuck with Toast and Lydia. Was there much to read into that? Um, no, to be honest, uh, I, I, I just Shane won her the last day, so I, I left him on her. Um, yeah, I, I probably sh didn't give him the choice, to be honest. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but uh, she ran really well, and it's great to get some black type with her. And, um, yeah, delighted delighted for uh, uh, to, to win a group race with the Australia filly. Yeah, she really stamped her class on it. What sort of targets would you have in mind for these two now, Josh? Um, well, uh, Shane mentioned that Tosin and Lydia might might be better over a little bit shorter, um, 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 but 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 we'll have to see what kind of options she has. And Tranquil Lady, like I mean, we we weren't thinking about Epson really coming here. Um, we thought she might be a filly that could end up with the Curra, but maybe it's a discussion that we have to have with you know Richard and and Jim um, um, uh, after today. Um, but certainly she's a filly that's in that picture. Fair play. And Joseph, you've got a couple of chances to come in you with a new recruit from France coming up in the next. What can you tell us there? Yeah, he seems a nice horse. Um, he's worked well at home. He's given away a lot of weight all around, which I think will be tough. But it's a nice kind of a race to get him started in. Um, I think he'll be better on maybe quicker going. But it's nice to get him started and we learned a bit about him today. And a very well-bred filly first to met in the maiden later on. Is she pleased at home? Yeah, she has pleased us. Um, we've been waiting for a little bit of juice on the ground for her, so that's why she's here today. Would love a better draw, but hopefully she runs a nice race, and I think she'll come on from whatever happens today. Good man. Well, listen, well done once again with the winner here, and best of luck with those two. Thanks, yeah. Joseph. Thanks, Gary. Peace.